Oceanic plates plunge towards the Earth's core, beneath the, the Earth's crust as hot rocks creep down. Life Science Stephanie Pappas article recently, the deep part of Earth's middle layer is on the move. New research finds that the lower mantle, located between 410 miles and 621 miles, beneath the Earth's crust is more dynamic than previously thought. This deep layer flows and deforms busily at the subduction zones, where slabs of oceanic crust plunge down through the Earth's layers like sinking ships. One of them is, as we know, the west coast of the United States. Another one is the Anatolia, where in Turkey, where the, the Anatolia Fault is found, where three plates, the European, African, and uh, Asian, collide together. And another one is in... Uh, in the Pacific, on the other side of the West Coast, around the uh, Indonesia area. Traditionally, it's been thought that the flow of rock in Earth's lower mantle is sluggish until you hit the planet's core, with most dynamic action happening in the upper mantle, which goes down to the depths of 660 kilometers, or 410 miles. This is what the study leader, Anna Ferreira, a seismologist at University College London, and the University of Lisbon said, in her statement, she says, we've shown this is not the case after all in large regions deep beneath the South Pacific Rim and South America. Understanding the layers, the Earth's mantle is made of hot rock, solid but easily bent and warped. The transition between the upper mantle and the lower mantle sits 410 miles beneath the surface. These two layers are distinct the upper mantle, for example, is mostly made of the igneous rock periodotite, while the lower mantle is rich in the minerals bridgemanite and magnesium iron oxide ferropericlase. The two layers also differ in temperature and pressure. Ferriera and her colleagues sit about investigating the uppermost part of a lower mantle using a computer model of Earth's interior created with 43 million real seismic measurements of the planet, 43 million measurements. Specifically, geophysicists use the natural echoes of earthquakes around the globe to imagine what's inside the planet. By looking at how the waves change speed and direction, researchers can glean information, the different compositions of rock and materials, the minerals inside the mantle, giving clues about its structure and properties. In the study, the researchers focused on what was going on in subduction zones, areas where the oceanic crust dives below the continental crust, like a conveyor belt, recycling rocks and minerals deep into the mantle. These slabs plunged towards the core, crossing the boundary between the upper and lower mantle. And the mantle is dynamic. The results showed that the subduction zones at the subduction zones, the lower mantle is surprisingly dynamic, particularly around the edges of the slabs of ancient crust plunging through its layers. The reason the researchers found seems to be something called dislocation creep, quote-unquote. Dislocation creep, which is the deformation of crystals and crystalline materials caused by the movement of defects within the crystals. This creep is caused by the crustal slab interacting with the mantle rock, spurring the mantle to deform and very slowly flow. The researchers found evidence for this creep below the Western Pacific in South America, so it's not yet clear how widespread it is. If the activity is global, it could suggest that Earth is cooling faster than previously estimated, study co-author Manuel Fraseda at the University of Padova said in a statement. Though the mantle's flow may seem quite removed from what's going on in the crust, it determines quite a bit about the planet's environment, Ferreira said. Venus, for example, has a similar size and location in orbit as Earth, but its mantle likely flows very differently. How mantles flow on Earth might control where there is life in our planet, but not on other planets such as Venus, she said. The results appeared March 25th, 2019 in the journal Nature Geoscience.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.